Welcome everyone to another episode of Reese's Roundup. I am your host, the Lightning Kid himself, and today, back by popular demand, Chris, he's here, he's ready to go. Oh yeah, heck yeah. Chris, a couple months ago, we made our predictions for who was going to come out of each division. And while we weren't always, or while we didn't predict everything, no. you did predict one team going to the Super Bowl. The Chiefs. And it was the Chiefs, yes. I, yeah. I was very wrong about the Saints, right. but at least I was wrong about one of them. <laughs> there you go. So, <laughs> who is going to win the Super Bowl? We're going to give our predictions, and then we're just going to go based off of that. So, Chris, I'll start. I think... San Francisco is going to win the Super Bowl. Now, 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 hear me out. 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 The Niners are just the better overall team. They have the number one pass defense. And, okay. and you can make the claim because they've won against top offenses like the Buccaneers. You know, despite their record, they were still number three in total offense. They went against the Ravens, who were number two in total offense. The Saints, they were top 10. And then you can throw the Vikings and Packers in there, too, because they do have some good offenses, despite what the numbers might say. Um, they've only allowed two completions of over 30-plus yards. Oh, that's impressive. That's very right. In the whole season, Chris. Now, yeah. this is also a team that can really, really um, pressure you know, opposing teams. And yes. from what I've seen, Patrick Mahomes is not good under pressure. He's one for eight with seven yards against the Blitz this postseason. And he's also three for 10 with nine yards under pressure in the postseason. Now, everybody wants to talk about how, oh, the 49ers have really good defense. The 49ers are going to ball out on defense. But what goes on, what goes unnoticed is their offense. They were ranked number four in total offense last season. And that's not going up against bad teams either. They've played against teams like the Steelers, who were ranked fifth in total defense, the Ravens, who were ranked fifth in total defense, the Saints, Rams, Vikings, who were in the top 15 as well. So they have been playing well on both sides of the ball. Um, George George Kittle, unguardable. Let's, yeah, let's just really, really, really throw that out there. So I don't think that the Chiefs have anybody who can guard Kittle, Kittle in yeah. in any in any way shape or form um he's got the most yards after catch by any receiver tight ends running backs receipt wide receiver he's got the most yards after catch by a player this season with 641 and Raheem Mostert he's he's been balling out too mm -hmm. Thank you. he will be a problem Chris because the Chiefs have the 26th ranked defense against the run Jeez. So I think I think it's gonna be a, a easy easy pickings for the for the 49ers. What I can't think? I can't lie, you you might have just changed my mind. Because <laughs> I was picking the Chiefs. I'm thinking like this is too of a high power too high powered of an offense to be shut down. Like they were down 24-0 and won 51 to 41, right? Like right. that's incredible. You don't you don't see this stuff. Patrick Mahomes, those stats against the Blitz are you can't really argue with that, but it's like at the same time he's Patrick Mahomes. It's like Lamar Jackson. You can blitz him all you want, he's gonna get away. But that San Francisco front defensive line, man, is just so detrimental. It is just it just cuts through anything. You can't do anything when you're getting rushed in the face. So I mean I think it's gonna be a great Super Bowl, way better than last year's. Um I think the final score will be like I don't know, we'll probably do it at the end, but I'll save that. But um, I think it's going to be a great game. I still think Chiefs, but you almost changed my mind. Those are some pretty good stats. Pretty <laughs> convincing stats, though. Yeah. Seriously. I mean, good. the Niners are just, they just ball out, man. I mean, yeah, you've they're seen solid. it all season long. Yeah. They're solid, right. dude. And I did not, they weren't, if we if we play back the video of me and you, or the first video, I did not, we barely said 49ers. Yeah. We yeah, barely like said 49ers. Yeah, we because you look at Jimmy Garoppolo, you're yeah, like, okay, he's good, but. Right. But you're looking at Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes. You look at Jimmy, you're like, all right, bro, you're good. Yeah. And then you look at the running game, they're all right. But, like, they're all around. People just did their job. But that defense, dude. It's, it's really what's been holding them together, yeah. It's crazy, dude. Which two quarterbacks, if you could pick Garoppolo or Mahomes for tomorrow, though? I know this, I mean, it's obvious Patrick Mahomes, if you're going to start a team. Not obvious, maybe. But who would you rather, who do you think is going to have a better game tomorrow? I think Patrick Mahomes will have a better game. But I think the 49ers will still be the better team. Only because Mahomes has to do everything. True, and Jimmy doesn't have to ball out for them to, to win. Much. Like, right, he can exactly. throw 114 yards tomorrow, and they can still win by two touchdowns. Exactly. And it's it's you've seen it 
not even with the Niners or the Chiefs, but with the Titans as well. The Titans didn't even yeah. need to use Ryan Tannehill, <laughs> and they were able to beat the Ravens and the Patriots. So, he had like less than 80, he had like 80 passing yards in two games. Exactly. Like, yeah, each. And I think, and I think you don't need to just, you don't need to have that reliability on a quarterback in order to have them win the game. Oh, and no. I think that's where the Chiefs will fall off is where they they'll have to, too much. they're going to rely too much on Mahomes. And he can do it, don't get me wrong, but against the 49ers, it's that's going to be defense. tough. I know, it's like, yeah. it's Patrick Mahomes versus Joey Bosa, Joe Bosa, yeah. Boa, mm -hmm. if I'm saying that Bosa, right. Bosa, yeah. Bosa, my bad. <laughs> It's really those guys and the other front four, but, like, they're going to be it. Like, if Patrick Mahomes can evade them and not be pressured, they're going to win. I yeah. really think, dude, they're too, they're too fast. The Chiefs are too they, fast, they man. They are fast, yeah. They were down 24-0. In the playoffs, like, usually guys buckle their knees. They get scared. Like, this game's over. They're like, nah, we're going to go score 51 <laughs> points. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. And the Texans defense is in the 49ers. No, they're, they're not. Granted, granted, but high-powered offense as well. But I can't wait for this. The Super Bowl is going to be, be so fun, man. Now, while I was gathering my notes, I figured, you know, might as well talk about how the Chiefs can win, too. And I, and I broke it down to this. I see this, you know, obviously this is Patrick Mahomes' first Super Bowl. And I think he's going to have a lot of cobwebs. He's going to have, you know, he's going to be a little bit shaken. Nervous for sure. This is not Jimmy Garoppolo's first Super Bowl. It'll be his first one starting, but he's been here before with the Patriots. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, so but he wasn't the face of the right, team. Right, right. So he's, but at least he's seen it. So I think, yeah. I think it's going to be tough for Mahomes for a little bit. Uh, maybe he'll shake it off, but mm -hmm. we'll see. He cannot be relied on for the whole game like we discussed before. They need to establish the running game or something. Somehow versus something. front four, good luck. Man. Yeah, they can't. They just can't do it. They can't rely on him for the whole game. It's not going to work, mm -hmm. I promise you. Their running back, Damian Williams, he had 29 carries for 92 yards in two playoff games. And that's, I don't think that's that's, that's not all efficient. that good. Yeah. No, that's not. Especially when they had that lead against the Texans and the and the Titans for all that time. He should be able to get he, some numbers. He he should have had a lot more. So I think they gotta really establish that to really get the ball going. Yeah, on I top agree. of that, on top of that, I don't think they can fall behind. They cannot go down twenty four to nothing against the 49ers. Because that defense won't let them catch up as quick. Exactly, and they can't fall back seventeen to seven. You know, whatever it is, however the score is. If they lose the lead, they lose the game. That's how I see it. Um, yeah, they came back against the Texans and the and the Titans, but those defense, like you said, are not are not the 49ers. So who do you think will have a bigger game in the tight end spot? Travis Kelsey or George Kittle? I'll have to give it to Kelsey. I think I think He's a big target for them. I think Kelsey's a better. He's like their target. number one or two target besides yeah. Hardman and oh Tyreek Hill, yeah. Sammy Walker. They're, They're stacked. They are stacked. And the the real question is, will the 49ers be able to keep up? With, literally, with them? Yeah. literally keep mm -hmm. up with them because like they're gonna be running, dude. They're gonna yeah. be open. So how do you think the 49ers will be able to defend to defend that? Pressure. That's the only way you're gonna defend it. If you right. get to Patrick Mahomes, dude, you're gonna be okay. But like, dude, that's why I think the Chiefs will win because I don't think they can stop the corners. I don't. Richard Sherman's good, but I, I believe a lot of the criticism towards. Richard Sherman, where they say he can't travel, which means that he likes to be in zone. He doesn't like to switch man or somewhere. Oh, I'm not completely sure, but you think they'll go after him? I don't think. I don't think it's part of the game plan. I don't okay. think that. Nah. Okay. Um, but I don't think that they'll be able to keep up as easy at all. But their defense is solid. They're just too electric, man. If you stop Patrick Mahomes, and you win, you win. But mm -hmm. you, those receivers are too good, man. One receiver I do want to point out that I thought about before this video is Debo Samuel for the 49ers. He's good. Damn. So under the radar. Yeah. He's getting, he's gotten his credit, mm -hmm. but a lot of people haven't been talking about him. That man could be the MVP. He could easily be the MVP of the yeah. Super Bowl. I'm just saying, like... And Emmanuel Sanders. He's Emmanuel Sanders well. yeah, is really good, good, but Debo Samuel is a rookie, too. That's why he stands out yeah. even more. Like, this mm -hmm. man is in the Super Bowl, effective, strong, stout. He's always on point. Like... Yes. I respect that, man. I think he's somebody everybody should look out for. Now, one thing is that how will the Chiefs be able to play defense against that 49ers offense? Because they were ranked 17 in total defense. The Chiefs. Yes, during the regular season. So how will their defense be able to stop that high-powered 49ers offense? That Chief, The Chiefs defense has gotten a lot better. Let me just say that. They have gotten better. They have. They and the 49ers are just coming off of what over 300 yard running game. So, the good news for the Chiefs 
is that the 49ers aren't necessarily explosive. They have people who can get shit done, but I think that they're, damn dude, that's a good question because they don't have a strong front four really. Their corners are decent. Dude, I, that's, this is gonna be a good Super Bowl. Yeah, man. It's, really gonna just, be, it's gonna be really good. <laughs> It's, it's really just going to come down to offense versus defense. And I agree with you. If they're mm -hmm. down, the Chiefs are down, mm -hmm. it's going to be really rough. They cannot that, that's pretty that much lead. the game. They cannot lose that lead. Because what they've been doing, and what I've noticed in the playoffs is that they've had a really good second half. But they cannot have a good second half. They have to play all the way through. Yeah, all four quarters. And I just think that the 49ers are just more complete. They have the quarterback. They have the running. They don't have to rely on the quarterback. They have the running back. They have the receivers. They have the defense. The Chiefs are just Patrick Mahomes. You know the that's, slogan about defense, right? It wins championships. Yeah, so. That's really, that's, that's, that's <laughs> going to be the title of this video. Exactly. Defense wins championships. <laughs> so that's just how I see it. Is there... Anything else that you think? I think we should do final predictions. Okay. Um, I say... Score, scores and everything. I say... MVP too. 30 to 27 Niners. Okay, I who do you think the MVP will be? Just a bold prediction. Or just a prediction. Bosa. Bosa? Yeah, I think Bosa will be MVP. I think that'd, be, that'd, that'd be really cool. Yeah. That'd be That's a Super Bowl. If just that, just yeah. knowing those stats, that'd be a great Super Bowl. Right, right. Um... I think it's going to be 35 to 25, somewhere on that, and I, I got the Chiefs. I got the Chiefs, man. That's just too, it's, it's too high power. I can't wait for this game, bro. You really think they'll score 25, or 35 on that? They can. Yeah? If they, if they just don't get pressured, dude. I just, I, I could be dead wrong. I've just been watching Patrick Mahomes being MVP all year. He's I've been, been really watching good. Tyree Kill not be guarded. It's like, what are you going to do? Yeah, I think I think the Niners will have a scheme on how to, for on sure, how to for yeah, sure. contain that. That's why I'm excited, dude. You got the most you got the most explosive offense against the most stout defense, and they got to do something here. Somebody right. has to break out. Who's right. going to step up? Mm -hmm. That's what we're watching That's Sunday for. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Who's going to who's gonna be there? Right. One thing I don't like about football is the one-game sample. Granted, it is a warrior sport. You don't want to have a right. seven-game series because yeah. nobody will live in right. the seventh game. <laughs> but it's a one-game thing, you know? So yeah. if that, let's say Patrick Mahomes wakes up and just stubs his toe. It's not his day. Like, yeah. it could easily be like that. But they're professionals. So F all that. Yeah, yeah, scratch all that. You're professional. Show up. Who's going to show up for sure? That's why we're tuning in. Find out. It's going to be tough. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to it. Chris. Yeah, me too. Thank you for coming back to the show. That was awesome. Yeah. Um, any any shout outs you want to give? I know you got a movie coming out, Star Trek Picard. Oh, yeah. That's, that's coming. Check me out. My uncle's in that. <laughs> uh, just shout out to all the fam and friends. You know who you are. Much love. There you go. All right. Let me know what you guys want to see for the next video. Until then, we're out. Peace. Peace.